Once a month, usually on a Saturday, a group of people who suffer from uh, Crohn's and colitis, uh, they come in, share their views, talk to each other. We get speakers from uh, the medical profession, experts on Crohn's and other such uh, bowel disease uh, problems. And we're finding that some of these attending the group are very appreciative that they have an option where uh, they can talk to others and they are not the only sufferers. Because something like this affects not just the person who is sick, but the whole family, the brothers, the sisters, the parents, the children. And we encourage all of them to come to these uh, patient groups because it's a situation where all of them will uh, benefit, understand, uh, know how to work with or behave with people or their siblings who have this disease. Mental insurance costs uh, are not covered under a lot of insurance policies. And as a former vice chairman of the Action Group of Mental Illness, we, I use that plot platform to speak to ministers, to uh, those involved in the government, to do something about it. And they all said, yes, we are, we are aware of the problem. Uh, one of the effects was that $300 was introduced. Uh, in the new MediShield, MediLife programs, etc., many years ago, uh, when Dr. Yipeng Liang was the president of NCSS, he approached me and said, we don't have anything. Can you create a specific uh, or help create a specific hospitalization program for employees of voluntary welfare organizations? And uh, I discussed this with a few insurance companies, came up with a basic hospitalization program, which is now available to all voluntary organizations here who are members of the NCSS. And uh, they can approach us directly. We have a common program. Uh, so that even if you've got two employees in your group or 200 or 500, you still have access to this program because very often a small organization of two, four would not be able to get the terms and conditions that this has been, uh, that we have created for these.